Hey everybody, welcome back to Why Wait. Today is just gonna be a real quick video on how to replace your D seals. If you have a slide out, then more than likely you're gonna have D seals. This is a simple process, gonna be a quick video. So if you wanna figure it out, stick around, I'll show you. Okay guys, so what is a D-seal? Well, the D-seal on most RVs, you're gonna find it on the inside and outside of your slide out systems. They're gonna go along both sides and the top of the slides. And it's basically just when the slide is in or out, it's what the slide is gonna kind of compress against. It's almost like a little rubber uh, protectant. Now, I have a roll of D-seal right here. I believe this is about 75 feet. And this was a little over $100. Um, you can usually buy it in 75 feet, 150 feet from an RV dealership. And as you can see right here, it's sort of shaped like a D shape. And it's squishy and it's hollow and it has these grooves right here and it just runs on a track. So the good thing about this is if they go bad or when it's time to replace them, this isn't necessarily keeping any water out or doing the job of anything like that. The track that this is attached to is already on there, should already be caulked, and this just runs onto the track, and this is just held on by a set screw or a screw um, kind of screwed into the bottom of it on each side to keep it from sliding off. Now to remove the old D seals, if they're going bad, if they're cracking, if they're tearing, you're probably gonna have to remove some of the sealant or the silicone that's uh, usually just a bead of it on one edge. You'll have to kind of scrape that off or just peel that off and clean up that area. Slide the new D seal on and then just take a new sealant and just run a bead of it along it just to kind of help it hold it on there and adhere to it. And this isn't exactly preventing water damage. That's not the job of this anyways. I mean, heck, as you can see, it's just a hollow seal anyways. Now, what do you need to do this? You're gonna need a measuring tape, a Phillips head screwdriver, some new sealant i like to use lexol or proflex rv some sort of scrapers some mineral spirits to clean it up or even sometimes i use wd-40 to clean it up and you're going to need some new seals okay guys so today i'm on top of my slide outs and i'm going to be replacing two of the seals on top of my rv slide outs and i'm going to show you why one of them is starting to crack and fade and the other one has actually been starting to slip off the set screws and rip through the rubber and it's actually starting to slide off the track so right here on this d seal right here you can see it's starting to crack and rip in here just over time and i do put a uv protectant on here but you can only do so much over time these things just start to go and you can also see the sealant is getting old and cracked and it's time to replace that i like to use the proflex rv sealant and we have a whole video on that and I'll put a link to that over here if you wanna see how to do all your seals around your windows and your camper. That's a great video on how to recalk and reseal your camper. But up here, I'm going to try something else. I'm gonna try the Lexel sealant. I think that might adhere better to the rubber and we're gonna try that up here and see how that does. Okay, now here's a good shot looking at the D seal on the side, running down the side of the slide out. It's on this track right here and there's gonna be a set screw at the bottom of it holding that in place. Now, I've already removed the D seal up here. And as you can see, here is the track that the D seal sits on, and you can just slide it on at the end and slide it all the way down. Here is the set screw that goes right in here, and once you have your D seal all the way over, this is gonna just screw inside your D seal and hold the D seal on. Now, before we can put the new seal on, we gotta clean up all this old sealant Get that all cleaned up, squared away with some mineral spirits, whatever we need to. And then we'll put the new one on. We'll screw it in and then we'll seal it up with a bead of seal on top of it. And I was talking about earlier, you can see how the D seal doesn't do much for water protection. This right here, the track that it sits on, is what you actually need to make sure is sealed up good, which this one is. I like to use this metal scraper very carefully. As long as you don't dig into your camper, you're going to be fine. I also like to use a plastic scraper clean up any of the old sealant and caulk, get all that cleaned up. I, a lot of times I'll use WD-40 on it. After that, I'll take mineral spirits and clean it up with that. Make sure it's all nice and dry, get the spot looking good. 
and then I'll go ahead and slide the D-seal on. Now after you get everything cleaned up and you're ready to put the new seal on, make sure you don't just measure your slide out because this is going to be a little bit longer as the D-seal extends a little bit past the slide out. So either measure the D-seal that you just took off or if you don't have access to that, you can easily see where the set screws went and you can measure that distance. So we're going to go ahead and measure right now. We're going to cut our D-seal and we're going to go ahead and bring it up here. I'm going to hook it on the edge of the track right here and I'm going to run it down and then I'll just add about an inch for each side as you can see right here that it goes, it extends out to here. So just lay your D-seal down on the ground, get a measuring tape, run it out after you've measured and mark your spot. We were 138 inches and now we're just going to go ahead and cut it. Okay, we have our piece of D-seal here. We have the rest just hanging down and we're just gonna feed it right onto this track and start feeding it across. You're gonna put your screw inside this part right in here. So you're gonna start the screw inside this rubber and screw it into the existing hole you had right here and then put some sealant around on that. Okay, there you go. You can see the set screw in there and it's it's real screwed in nice and tight right there we'll put some seal sealant along here we'll try to seal up that screw a little bit and run a bead down through here again you don't have to worry about it too much this isn't preventing anything from water getting anywhere this isn't really preventing anything from water getting anywhere you can see the movement in that it's just sitting on the track it's just for this edge right here when it comes in to suck up against okay guys that's it just a quick little recap Remove the set screws on the old D-seal, slide it off, remove any of the old sealant and caulking on it, scrape it off, get it clean, use some WD-40, some Goo Gone. Then after that, take some mineral spirits, clean it up real nice, let that dry, measure, put your new D-seal on, get your set screw set on, seal it back up, put a bead of seal along the edge, and you're good to go. Today, I use the Lexel uh, sealant, which I really love for inside. I use it all around the bathroom sink, the showers, this stuff seems to repel mold, it's clear, it's easy to work with. This also comes in a tube that you can use with a caulking gun, which I have. Today I just grabbed this because I was just doing a small project. So, I hope this video helped you guys out, I appreciate you stopping by. Don't forget, get out there and start your full-time adventure because why wait? We'll see you guys next time.